Welcome back, everyone. Grumulan Archer here. Time for some more Caldera Chaos in our RimWorld game. Just survived the Black Hive attack. Let's see if we can actually get things, uh, I don't know, sorted out and not uh, on the verge of collapse at any moment in this episode. You already have stuff in your pockets. Yeah, we got a little bit in your pocket. <laughs> I wish you had enough wood for me to build, like, normal bridges. These bridges, while nice, are so slow. As much as I'd love to build a bridge here, it's just like, so slow. I'm wondering about sending a, a party up here to, to do some trading. Like, if I sent... I sent Chris with some of the stuff we don't need. Maybe we can come back with some useful items? I don't know. It's not that far away. Let's give it a shot. Warm caravan. We're gonna go here. Take half a day. Send Chris. Chris is our only gun, which is potentially a problem, but that's okay. Moth silk. We're not really in a state to do anything with these things at the moment. Five K. Yeah, that overloads you. You can't. We're not gonna be able to send the the uh, fuel rods. Everything but the plain leather. Gonna have to go without anything else. All right, I need the wind to hold out here. Doing some food prep. Cyrus throwing a tantrum. James collapsed from food poisoning. <laughs> One day this colony will start to feel like it's actually not falling to pieces at any given moment, but today is not that day. Please don't break any of the walls. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot you need to put a roof over this. Right, let's move Cyvery down here. Since, uh, this room is a little exposed at the moment. Oh, you're both down now. <laughs> That's fun. Chris is almost there. You stopped right just short. Jerk. I like the mental image of these two just lying in a heap, barfing periodically. <laughs> Out in the rain. Oh, my stomach. It hurts so bad. Right, caravan is at location. Hey, they got, they got humans we could sell. I should have brought silk with, I should have brought silver with me. Forgot that I had, have a bunch of silver at home. Oh well. I just buy as much pemmican as we can get. I think that's probably the responsible choice. Which is not that much. There we go. Fortunately, he's gonna eat like half that pemmican on his way home. Does one of you want to wake up enough to get up off your tukas? All right, one of you wake up. Rice is almost grown. Gave's ready for harvest. You roadkill out there today? A dead lion. Did you kill it? Yeah. Lion on lion violence. There you go. James is back on their feet. James. It's Ivory in bed, please. There you go. Caravan's <laughs> back. Welcome back. How much of that pemmican did you do eat? Ah, uh, some of it. Not a ton. I think I might select the, actually accept this one. They want us to watch a person for a bit. How terrible is this? Pain is virtue, cannibal, careful genetics. This, he might not be super happy here, but on the upside, he has uh, okay skills. Sure. I feel like I'm gonna regret that. 
Oh, those are not the people I'm gonna get as rewards, are the people that showed up. That's okay. Let's take a look at them. We got... Ken Vinuba, who is a workaholic rebel and a wimp. Crafting, mining, cooking... No social. Cat person sanguine nervous. That's an interesting combo. Do you guys come with anything? You're wearing just a mask. You're wearing just kilts. Okay. Well, hopefully they, um... They work out here. We'll have to look at their, their, uh... Thing in a second. But they won't hunt, so that's not a good sign. What, you don't mine? Alright, let's take a look at this... This terrible, uh... Neo-Catholicism. Slaughtering animals is prohibited. Eating meat is horrible. Killing innocent animals is horrible. Disapprove of mining. Animal connection is strong. They don't like cutting trees. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be a bad bad scene. They're gonna have to deal with it though, because we are definitely not able to be vegetarians at the moment. Got some stuff to trade. I almost forgot to try and trade with this lady. Oh, uh, we got a little bit of money. She has some packaged survival meals. Try and buy those. Oh, I can sell a fuel rod. Give us some more thing to work with. Give one of this. No, give me a give me that recurve bow. Six days. That's not gonna be great. All right, I think I need to build another house. My point of this is that we need some, we need to get some actual, like, stuff up and running. Um, for instance, I would like to make an art bench. Which is, I guess, not that important, but it's better than... We, we, if we get a little bit of art around, it might make everyone chill out a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of my thinking in the process. Reinstall this in here. Silver or meteorite. That's money! That's money that fell out of the sky. All right, let's make some small sculptures. See if we can make people a little bit happier. So far, these guys don't seem that upset about um, having to eat food they don't like. So hopefully that continues. These lions are gonna be a problem when they decide that we're the things they wanna eat for dinner, but right now they're being very helpful in killing other animals for us. Food binge, that's not good. That is a bad thing to come out of this. Hey, first piece of art. Let's put this, um... Let's just put it right here. So that everyone sees it as they pass. Food binge when food is this scarce is a really bad one. It's eating days, days upon days of our food. Yeah, there goes all of our meals that we just made. Roaming monstrosities, eh? What do we got? Chicken horse mare? A woman bear? Hmm. So it seems to be this is a humanoid hybrid of some variety, which I think the our new friends are not happy about. I don't really remember. Where are you guys going? Long way around? Okay. James, you, you don't have anything. Cyvery, you need to get your club back. Right, you come stand here. This guy stand here. Get it. Where are you going? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. Ran right past.
Couple of bruises. Little little tooth bite. No big deal. You know, one of the things I want to get rid of, get ready for, is the potential for having um, prisoners. Let's build a little prison over here. Little room to keep uh, prisoners in. Yep, that's what I thought was gonna happen. All right, got him. <laughs> Told you when that, that guy was gonna come after us at some point. It's all fun and games until that happens. Hopefully you don't get uh, infections, because we're not really set up for that. Looks like we're having lion steaks tonight. Hey, we got another piece of art done. Should put that in somebody's room, maybe? Maybe just in here. People come in here a lot. What is this quest? Monster encounter, huh? Don't think I'm gonna do that one. It is one of the new types of quests from this one of the mods we're running, but I still don't think we're gonna do it because it seems dangerous. We're not exactly in the state to deal with it. <laughs> another, another lion hunting one of our characters? Come back this way. You guys come this way. I think. Oh, Hawk. Hawk doesn't have their. Hey, you did it, Chris. Good job. More lion steaks. Ugh, freaking tantrums, man. Mind-shattering pain, really? From what? I guess you did get beat up by a lion, so... You just... Oh my god. He just destroyed all of our components. We had like 60 components and he just destroyed them. Can't believe he did that. I mean, I totally can believe he did that, because that's how Ribbon World goes, but... Still. It's very annoying. Alright, we got another piece of art. Let's put that in somebody's bedroom. So I know that one dude doesn't want to do mining, but I think I might have to force him to do some mining. It's not gonna like it. That's gotta get done. So the the world is starting to get cold, I guess, because it's winter time. Or it's September. Which is potentially an issue. Ritual opportunity soon, huh? For who? Days ritualistic. Acheronic oblation. Okay. Oh, we got plenty of wind right now, so Hawk, can you cook for me? I forget, does this this place is not no, it doesn't have a permanent summer, so it is actually gonna get chilly during the winter time. Yeah, it's getting negative negative effects from mining. That's okay. He can deal with it. <laughs> I need the materials. Just gotta close all the windows and save a little bit of heat. Put a, a flap in front of the latrine. Seems appropriate thematically. Hey, we finished battery research. Okay. What are we gonna do next? Solar panels. I think solar panels. Build a roof here. We'll build a, put a solar panel in the undercover. Or not a solar panel, a battery. Oh, I don't have any components now. Somebody broke them all. Farming trader. That seems like something that would be useful. Some pugs and some poodles with them. Alright, let's see if we can get some food out of this. Auxiliary AI is actually still worth quite a bit of money, even though it's not in any very good shape. Some fertilized eggs. Don't see those very often. I might actually buy some of these. 
chicken eggs. Alright, let's sell another fuel rod. Buy 20 of these. We don't have a lot of... <laughs> we don't have a, a lot of time to eat them before they go bad, so... Do I want to try and get some chicken? Well, we don't have a pen for one thing. Yeah, I probably won't bother with this. Well, I have 20 meals. That's something. Oh. This helps to actually get this all the way down where it needs to be. Alright, so we have somewhere a small refrigerator. I saw it when I was going through things earlier. <laughs> Question is, where is it? Storage? Yes, refrigerator. Powered sealed container which can be used to free and store perishable foods. Let's put that right there. I don't know how much it'll hold. But we'll see. How much longer are our friends with us? 6.2 days? We're basically halfway through the project. Let's start slowly working on basically covering this area. From here, like, down. It's gonna take a lot of material, but I think we can get through it. Be worthwhile. Well, we got through all those meals, so that's good. Everyone actually got to eat like a normal person for a change. I'm sure they enjoyed that. A lot of agave that just got harvested, that's excellent. Man. Construction is apparently tough. Jeez. Jeez. Alright, never mind. Never mind! We won't do that. Screwed it up multiple times in a row. Might have been because they were in darkness. It's not great for those things. And boom rat. Trip. Good, good shot. Wow, the boom wrap destroyed your left lung. That's fairly impressive. That was a little rough on there with poor old Cyvery. Don't get an infection. This is a, the one thing I just dread every single time somebody gets hurt. Freaking tantrum. Hello, people. These are royal tribute collectors, I can't do anything with them. Oh. Isaac just killed his friend. I got two meals out of the deal, though. How did you do that? Unlucky hit, I guess. Just goes to show why you should never get in fights. coming in. Four of them. Well, hopefully they get here in time that the uh, friendly neighborhood empire can help us out. We'll see. Alright, here they come. I think we'll probably be fine. Um, because I, I think the empire will probably handle this for us, but let's just stand off to the side here and see what happens. Yep, yeah, they're gonna deal with it for us. Go about your business, guys. They'll handle it. That'll work. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, we actually got a little bit of, of uh, medicine out of the deal, too. You know what we might want to research after we get done with with uh, solar panels is I have no idea where it is in this list. It's uh, water water wheels wheels water mills. I don't know what you want to call them because we have this flowing bit of water here. We could build a water wheel on it for power. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do this anyways. Hey, Psychic Soothe, finally something nice happens. <laughs> Pods are at gold. I don't know what we got that for. But thanks. Vibrous Mechanites. These are a double-edged sword because they are they cause a lot of pain. But they also increase our uh, 
orc speeds. Luckily, we really don't have any medicine to waste on it, which is usually the big problem is that you waste a ton of medicine on it. Alright, so put vents between all these rooms, which means that I should probably be able to put just like a campfire in the middle one, and it'll keep the rest of them cool, or warm, whatever that temperature is that you need. Hopefully it doesn't make James's room too hot. We'll see. It's oiled yourself. Oh, they're almost done. Two days. Hopefully this Blair person's okay. Uh, we looked at them. I think they were all right. If they're, except for the fact that their religion was super weird. That fire is not reaching as far as I thought it was going to. It's all right. Transport pod crash. Hello, you. You're from the Empire. Insatiable kleptomaniac. Medical, intellectual. Your health is actually fine. Um, I'm going to send somebody to rescue you. But I have a feeling you're probably just going to get up and walk away before we actually get a chance to rescue you. Oh, we're going to have a party. That'll be fun. Maybe. <laughs> if anybody actually shows. Just these two, I guess. Um, this is not a gathering spot, because this is James's room. So tempted to just burrow straight through the wall. But I'm also afraid of insects, so instead I make them walk all the way around. But it, I don't know, the, tactically, I don't know which one was a better choice. It would have been better to just burrow through the wall and take the risk of insects, or if it's better that I sort of put off the risk of insects, I don't know. Probably best not to second guess these things. Oh, I can build it all the way across. I thought I was—I thought it was a gap there. I wasn't going to be able to build across. And they are trying real hard to convert this guy. <laughs> Every time he walks, they walk past him. Somebody's knocking his, his certainty down a little bit more. The next guy, when our next friend comes, I may actually lock him away and try and convert him. But we'll see. I wonder if I um, I just deleted this. Yeah, you leave. Go away. We saved you. You're not going to stay. So just just go back to the broken empire. All right, let's stop here. <laughs> Things are, are rough, but they're slowly getting better. We haven't had anyone die in a while, so that's good. Hope you're having a good time. And I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.